wanted to marry him with a Y. In my last two videos, I tried acrylic dipping and I did it canvas to canvas both times. But I wanted to try dipping the possibly more traditional way, which is dipping a canvas into a pool of paint that you put down on your table. Now, when I test things, I often film myself to remember what I did. Now, this is one of those tests. It just turned out so pretty that I thought, you know what, I guess I will show it to you. Now, for these two dips, I used four colors on a white background, and my white was titanium white. And my colors were DecoArt Americana Sour Apple and Purple Pizzazz and DecoArt Extreme Sheen Sapphire and 24K Gold. They were just leftover paints from when I dipped the butterfly. So I thought I would use them. And all of my paint is mixed the same, one part paint to two to three parts pouring medium. And that includes the white. There is no silicone in any of the paint that I used. I did my tests on five by seven inch canvas panels. And you'll see on one of them that I had put pieces of tape on the back to help me pull up the canvas. I should have done it on the other one, but I was too lazy at the time. But because getting a canvas panel up is kind of tricky because you need to do this and then pull up and you need to pull up straight and it's really challenging. So the tape is probably a good idea if you're gonna use panels. I started out by spreading a layer of white paint thinned to the consistency of warm honey. And I poured it down in a puddle a tiny bit bigger than my canvas panel. And then I put down my four colors. I wasn't going for anything in particular, like I wasn't trying to get a particular shape necessarily. I just wanted to make sure I added metallics, that I got enough paint down, and for this test, what I wanted to do was make a symmetrical-ish kind of, <laughs> symmetrical-ish, there's a word, um, kind of shape, just so that it would be easy to see how much it changed once I lifted the panel after the dip. Now, as I was lifting, I knew that I inadvertently tilted the canvas just a little bit. So the end closer to me lifted up a little bit sooner. So I didn't pull as straight up as I'd planned. That tiny deviation makes a big difference. So the dip pattern ended up more at the end that released last. So the end furthest away from me. But it was still pretty. So I was okay with it. I mean, look at all that lovely lacing in the gold. Ugh, I just loved it. I loved the pretty wonky version down on the table too, but I knew the only way to keep that was to let it dry as a skin, but that's not what I was doing with this test, so I took a moment of silence <laughs> and I said goodbye to it. <laughs> what you see me doing now is pushing all the color toward the middle, so I'm sort of making a roundish puddle in the middle. And then I added a little bit more purple paint, filled in the empty area with white paint, and then more green. And then I dipped. When I saw the result, it wasn't complete, and it wasn't quite what I wanted, but I knew what I wanted to try at that point. I knew I wanted to go for like a tulip-like shape because it was starting to be that. So I added more purple, but only at the top and in a tulip-like shape. And then the second dip. When I flipped it over, I was way happy. I basically got exactly what I wanted. What I didn't film was removing a little bit of the green at the bottom and then blowing the bottom of the tulip to round it out. So I was using the tubing from my fish tank to do that. Now I'm testing to see how much purple paint is hiding out under the white here so that I can add the suggestion of more petals 
like things in the background of the flower. Then I filled in areas that needed it and did a little sculpting and neatening of the greenery. And look at all this wonderful texture and the pretty cells. Oh my gosh. I also decided to give the flower a stem at this point so that it wasn't just floating in space. And after that was done, all that was left to do was to let these dry. So this is the first one and the metallic is really nice and shiny and everything remained. Every cell, every little detail survived. I'm really, really happy with this. Look at all that, it's just so pretty. This looks so much like a peacock to me. And then my favorite one also survived beautifully. The lacing just blows my mind because like I said, there's zero silicone in this. And there's very little metallic sheen, just a teeny bit in the gold, just a hair, and maybe a little smattering of it in the blue here. But since the purple is the predominant top color, you don't really see much um, in terms of metallic because the purple and the green were both non-metallics. These were my tests for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you tried any dips yet? If you have, let me know and tell me what your experience has been. And what have you found to be challenges or things that have helped make them successful for you? For now, I am just loving this technique. I think it lends itself to a lot of sculpting and fun paint manipulation. It has sparked a ton of testing ideas and I would love to know if you'd be interested in seeing them. Leave that for me in the comments. What I've noticed so far about dips, they are a lot less messy than like traditional pours. They use a fraction of the amount of paint and mine have dried in half or a third of the time of a traditional pour. So, oh, and you can re-dip a painting if you don't love the result right away. So if you're new to fluid art, I highly recommend playing with a dip or two. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded so funny. <laughs> Play with a dip or two. Okay, I want to say thank you so much for all of you that have been helping me by using my Amazon links. I so appreciate it. Thank you for those of you that have joined the Facebook group. It's so much fun to see what you guys are making and to share ideas and questions with you. And thank you to my patrons for everything you do for me. It is a joy being able to do this channel and I really couldn't do it without all of you. Alrighty. I hope that you let your creative nature shine this week and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye now.